Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the Tegla Audio Manufacturer EQ P1 Dual Mono Tube EQ. Could this be the bargain of the century? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this video. Small disclosure, this isn't a demo unit. This is my own EQ P1. I've had this for about a year and I find that I cannot mix without it. So what we're going to do in this video is run some audio through it so you can get an idea what this thing sounds like. Uh, get up close and personal as well so you can see the controls it's got. And hopefully I can give you an idea why this deserves some of your attention. Now this is a Poltec passive inspired design. In the low end we can select between 20, 30, 60 and 100 hertz. We've got a little bit more we can play with in the top end of things between 3 and 20k got bandwidth and a really sweet sounding high cut. Now you could run a kick drum channel through this and a snare top mic, or you could run a mix through this or drum overheads, whatever takes your fancy. But I find that you've got to look dead on to this unit to be able to match your controls. If you do it from an angle, it can be difficult to set for stereo applications. So before we run some audio through this, let's talk about getting the sound into the unit. If you hit this too hard, too much signal, you will hear it, it's got tubes in there. So this has a sweet spot, You've got to be aware of that. There's no input attenuation on this. So if you are hitting this too hard, you will get a bit of a, a farty gritty sound, which might be what you're after. But if you don't want that and you want more of a cleaner sound, you're gonna to need to back off the level in your DAW to the device. So let's put this to work. The first example here is gonna be a kick in mic on the first channel and a snare top mic on the second. And in the next example, we're gonna run a mix through this. Okay, so let's start with a kick and snare example. Let's have a listen to the kick in isolation. Let's do the old Poltec trick where we can cut and boost the same band. Take some of the flab out. Add some weight back in, got different curves. Bring out some of the click. Before. After. With the overheads. All right, let's introduce the snare. Boost some of the top end. The hi hat sound a little bit too much. Let's cut top end away from the snare. Add a bit of weight. to the snow in isolation. Before and after of both channels. Okay, second example. This is gonna be on a full mix. It's gonna be a bit tricky for me to set this, as I said earlier, setting these Dials from an angle can be a bit of a challenge. I'll do my best. But hopefully you get a good idea of what this thing can do. So the track, I'm not going to say much during this. I'm just going to go straight at it and you can see what I'm doing and you'll be able to hear what this is doing as well. Before
anyway, I hope you guys got something from that. For me, the EQP1 has become such a valuable part of my workflow. Every single mix I finish off, I run through this just for a little bit of sweetening. I do use it in dual mono mode on some tracks in my mix, but really this is a mix bus finisher for me. As I said, I've had it for over a year, used it nearly every day. I've been down here beavering away, making music. I use it in conjunction with my other Tegla gear. Sounds absolutely sweet with that. Back to the original question at the beginning of this video, is this the outboard EQ bargain of the century? Well, it's about 1500 euros. So think of it like this, 750 euros per channel. Quite possibly. I love it. I think it's great value for money. If you'd like to give it a try for yourself, put it in your studio for a week or two, see if it fits your workflow. Contact the guys at Tegla, they'll happily send one to you. Or if you're in the UK, our friends over at SX Pro. I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.